Hey there, Gemini. Thank you for coming to the channel. Welcome if you are new to the channel. And of course, for those of you returning, uh, welcome. And thank you so much for all the love and support. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, we're going to get started today with a um, general love reading. So we're going to do a general love reading. Obviously, it is general for the collective of Gemini, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Uh, please take what does, and if it is not your reading, just come back on another week, and hopefully uh, there will be one there for you. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. If you like the content, of course, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, I would really appreciate that. It does help to, really does help to support the channel. Okay. All right. Spirits and angels, give me some messages on Gemini. I don't want. All right. Oh, intuition. We have the cat here, intuition. Not sure if you can actually see the card. I've got a little bit of a different setup now because I am trying to use my phone in a different space to read. So, all right, so intuition. So somebody is really using their intuition. This, uh, you can see this person, this cat actually in the middle, this person that is like a cat with two cats coming from the sides here. Very much so tapping in. Oh, wow, Gemini, come on now. Intuition and power. And then the other card that flipped is the lioness, which is protection. Wow. Okay, these are very, very powerful cards that you have coming out here. Beautiful. So, looks like somebody has been using their intuition here to guide them along the way. Really tapping in. Okay, we know that cats are incredibly intuitive animals. Um, and then you have the deer here who is all about stepping into your power. Okay. Really step here. Let me do it that way. There we go. Really stepping into the fullness of your power. And you can see even the photo here is a really, really powerful image. And then the last part is the lioness, which is all about protection. So I do feel um, obviously that you are clearly um, really tapping in right now, really tapped in, feeling the fullness of yourself, the fullness of the power that you actually um, not only hold within, but you um, that you exude out into the world is what I'm feeling. I mean, really feeling powerful at this time and understanding here how protective you are. You do have a lot of protection around you, clear. a lot of protection around you. So let's see what this is about. Okay, so here goes an angels. Give me three cards on my Geminis. Give me three cards on my Geminis right now. Looking real good, Gemini. Three cards this down. Three cards on my Geminis, please. There we go. One. All right. We got five of pentacles. Oh, seven of pentacles. Okay. One more card. Okay, so somebody here, you might be feeling a little bit, perhaps in the past here, you've been feeling a little bit left out in the cold. Uh, could have even, oh goodness, what a great card. Um, could have even been feeling uh, a disconnect in a bit. I'm asking about relationship, obviously, but you've got a lot of pinnacles here, Gemini. So this could also be about your money. Um, if so, you may have had some, some concerns here in terms of how you were going to make it. Um, I don't know, we're going to look a little further. If you went through a breakup, you may have been concerned about how you were going to make it on your own. Uh, you could have been concerned about, you know, being left kind of out in the cold a little bit. But this just looks to me like you're, this is all about money here. Um, definitely taking stock of what you have, okay? Looking at what you've been able to build, uh, what you've been investing in, wanting to know if, you know, if this is the right investment, what am I building for myself? And then we got the last card, though, coming up, showing you as the Queen of Pentacles, very stable, uh, very grounded. Somebody who obviously has worked hard, is really standing in their power, as this would clearly show. But the you know the Queen of Pentacles is um, a person that is really stable, a person that does well on their own. Um, this could also be a mother. Obviously, you may be a mother. Um, you may be a wife. 
Uh, but you're a person that can certainly stand on your own, stand in your own power, um, and comes across to everyone as, you know, having what you need, having the things that you want, living the luxuries even in life, if you will. Okay, now I'm wondering if this involves a breakup, but we're going to find out when I clarify. All right, Spirit Guys and Angels, give me three cards on my Gemini's person, please. Three cards on my Gemini's person. That is a big transition that I'm seeing here. Okay. Oh, Ten of Pentacles upside down on your person. The Pentacles here, Gemini. <laughs> Lots of money here. All right, let's see. Five of Wands in reverse. Okay. Two more. I'm feeling like this may have been some kind of family situation, or it could have even been a marriage, honestly. Because your person is showing up as the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which shows me a person. So, Ten of Pentacles right side up, of course, is, you know, having, having everything you need. Having, you know, the family being uh, financially stable. Um, very financially stable, basically having everything, you know, it's the epitome of what we all want, right? But this one is actually in reverse. So this is showing me that your person is feeling a lack of that. I feel like something has broke up here and it may have even been a marriage. Um, it shows that there might have been actually, so this always fives to me, especially the five of wands upright always indicates to me some kind of strife in a situation, a bit of a tug of war, if you will, I've got two cards, so I'm going to go ahead and take them. A bit of a tug of war here. You guys may have had, whoever this person is, you guys obviously had some kind of disagreements. Um, it, you know, it looks to me like kind of a standoff, okay? I, I feel like you, whatever you did, maybe you actually pulled away from this, maybe they did, but you have come out kind of victorious in this situation. And it looks to me like they are still, they're trying to manifest. We're going to see if this is you. They're trying to manifest back, but they've had a, they've had a bit of a struggle, it looks like, and they're still there, um, so I don't know what took you out of this fight, this, this may have just been fear, you know, what am I going to do, am I going to be able to make it on my own, let me see here what I've got invested, uh, let me make sure that I'm investing properly, and to come out just so strong in this Queen of Pentacles energy, I feel like this person is obviously seeing that, so we have the Ten of Pentacles over here upside down, which shows me a person that is not feeling, uh, like they're not feeling victorious. They're not feeling like they have everything that they need. Uh, they're not feeling like they are very stable at this moment. Um, this could also be because it is about family as well. It could be about, uh, there's still their stability being rocked in a sense. Um, yeah, even a, a family, even breaking up, you know, a husband and wife, a marriage, a, a whatever, a long-term commitment breaking up. Um, or maybe even what they wanted with this situation actually breaking up. And then we have the five of wands. So again, I feel like there was some kind of, uh, yeah, definitely some kind of, it doesn't, it could have been an argument. Yeah. Nagging stuff like that. But usually I see that more so with the five of swords. This looks to me like there was almost like a tug of war, right? And that's literally what they're doing in this card, right? They're fighting for power in this particular card. So um, that can usually cause a lot of arguments and, you know, there's not a willingness there to compromise. Um, but it looks to me like this person is trying to come out of that energy. They may have had that very strongly in the past and they're trying to come out of that. The next card that we have here is temperance. Okay. So this is, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, Temperance is all about trying to find balance. This person is obviously trying to find some kind of balance in this situation. You know, I, I have to notice on this, this is an angel pouring this in there to alchemize, right? And you see right here with the third, close to the third eye here. All right, you see the symbolism here. I think that this person is trying to gain some insight, it appears to me, on what went wrong in the past of how they kind of got there so that they can come out of this situation because whatever happened here it's definitely rocking their world in some way um and then of course you got the judgment judgment is all about renewal for your person so i think this person right now and again we are going to clarify but i believe they may be wanting to have some kind of renewal uh in this situation certainly may be receiving their judgment uh due to actions of the past that could have created 
um, some kind of conflict or even separation in here. Look at this. Beautiful. All right. Let me clarify the Seven of Pentacles now. So I'm clarifying the Five of Pentacles, and it gave me the High Priestess. So this shows me, oops, how you were able to come up out of this. Interestingly enough, the High Priestess is very intuitive, right? Incredibly intuitive. The Keeper of Secrets, okay? So you may also... Um, be just hold, being a bit mysterious at this time, maybe not spilling a lot of stuff, but I feel like you're very tuned in because now we have two cards here of intuition. You have the cat for intuition, and now you have the high priestess. Um, maybe you really tuned in to figure out how you could come up out of this uh, five of pentacles energy that you were in. Now, again, if that was not about losing some kind of finances um, or feeling... Yeah, it could have also been just like feeling out in the cold or feeling like, you know, you didn't have everything that you need. Maybe something left your life and made you feel that way. Look at this. We got the Seven Pentacles. Okay. Clarified by the Knight of Cups. So, I think with this intuition, too, perhaps you have been really kind of reflecting on what it is that you're wanting. Um, out of a situation, out of a relationship, you may need to have, and again, I have not clarified your person yet, but you know, the Knight of Cups, it's all about bringing in, you know, more romance. Um, remember, this is an energy above all. So it's bringing in more romance, bringing in someone who will love you completely as you are, someone who will grow with you, but also someone who, you know, will speak their feelings, tell you what's on their mind. Um, you know, speak their emotions to you and not be shy about it. I think that has been an issue. Oh, give me one second, Gemini. Hey there, sorry about that, Gemini. My Amazon habit is taking control of my life. <laughs> not sure why they knocked today. I guess just to let me know they were here. Okay, let's uh, clarify this Queen of Pentacles. You're looking really strong in this, Gemini. I think you've had a change of, perhaps you were hanging on to something for a while, and it looks like you've been really tapping in, tuning into your intuition, and honestly, you're getting very clear on what it is that you're wanting, but you're also figuring out what your value is. Look at this. We've got the King of Wands down here, so what is clean up? Do you have new love in your life, Gemini? Oh, wow. Okay, so now we have the King of Wands, so this is... So we have some water energy here. We, of course, have fire energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius uh, that you're bringing in that is clarifying the, the Queen of Pentacles. I'm wondering if this person uh -oh, hello, is already in your life. Look at your person is actually in hermit mode here. Let me get these clarified. Yeah, it looks to me like you have got in. Yeah, definitely. One within... Um, got in some insights, got in very clear about what it is you're wanting. Um, I don't know if this person's in your life. You may already have a new person in your life. If not, I feel like one could be coming because now you are really fully standing in your power and people are seeing that. Okay, you're beautiful. Uh, you do well on your own. You're very independent. Look at this. And somebody is seeing that, Jim, and I look at this. You got somebody fully looking back at you over here. They're seeing that about you. So if you've not already pulled this person in, this person is watching you. I feel like you're going to have this person soon. You may already be talking to them. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So here goes an angel. Let's clarify the temperance card for Gemini's person. temperance card about I'm just looking at your person so far honestly and other than what I've went over it looks to me like they I clarified the ten of pentacles in reverse it looks to me it's clarified by the hermit by the way and it just appears to me that this person has went through something potentially with you could also be on their own especially if this is a new person that's coming in kind of put them in a hermit mode is put them in reflection they're certainly looking for some answers trying to gain some wisdom on their particular situation yeah 
And uh, because they're really trying to get back to their independence as well. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is all about someone who stands on their own. They're very independent. You know, they'll be with someone because they want to be, not because they need to be. But, you know, they have their Pentacles. They really have everything that they need. So this person feels to me like they're trying to come out of this. I feel there was kind of a non-negotiable energy here. So maybe they were... <laughs> I don't know. It looks to me like somebody that, I know I used the term stand up earlier, but that's really kind of how I feel about it. It's like a person that would, they're not willing to budge sometimes on their views and it may have actually cost them. Clarifying temperance. The reason they're trying to find balance here is because they've been in a very guarded position. It looks like, okay, ready to battle in a sense with that seven of wands, but certainly feeling um, very guarded and they're trying to find some sense of balance with that of course and then we've got the judgment why because we have the devil on the bottom so we have the judgment and the devil together which tells me that this person has definitely been in oh look at that and then the nine of swords yeah okay <laughs> All right, Gemini, so it looks to me like this person has definitely been, um, they were probably in some kind of um, toxic behavior, honestly. Uh, definitely in some toxic behavior, actually. Um, I can see right here they weren't willing to really bend, but they may have also not been... I feel something else went awry here, though. I, this Ten of Pentacles upside down just continues to stand out to me, especially with this Hermit. I feel like something they thought was going to come together did not come together. Um, they could have very well been in another situation that just didn't work out. They could have been in a marriage, a long-term situation that did not work out for them. Um, it's kind of sent them within. This could have been with you as well. Um, and their life has been a little bit stressed and out of control. They've been trying very hard, it looks like, to regain their sense of independence. Perhaps they've been in codependence uh, issues in the past. Uh, the issue here is they've been so guarded. Okay, it's been very difficult for them to find a balance. They are looking for the balance, but the issue is they haven't been able to really successfully find this balance due to them being guarded. you got to open up. To actually find it and like I told you before this person's not really been so willing to to bend um, they've had a block in a sense and especially when it comes to the heart okay um, I'm feeling some betrayal I have no idea why I have no course to signify that but I'm feeling betrayal too so they may have actually been betrayed in the past or feel like they've been betrayed I do feel like at this time though it looks to me like they might be going through their their own judgment here um, I know I talked earlier before clarifying about them wanting to have a reunion and we may actually see that but now that i'm seeing the devil card clarifying it looks to me like they're actually going through um some of their own judgment uh in terms of so in terms of their toxic behaviors they're going to have to let go of this if they want to move forward clearly they see you um, clearly, they see you doing well for yourselves. Clearly, they say, I mean, you've got a Knight of Cups here as well as the King of Wands. You know, clearly they see that you 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 kind of have your pick a little bit and that you've made your decision about what you want. I feel like you have separated yourself from this person somewhat. And that's also put this person into their Knight of Swords because they don't know how to deal with this. All right, so they're having sleepless nights. Um, stressing out very clearly. Yeah, and it's taking a toll, I feel like, on this person as well. All right, so what is the next move on Gemini's person here, guys and angels? What is What can we see next in terms of their moves? What are they going to do towards Gemini? Interesting. I would also say, too, because I really see you standing so strongly over here. Don't let this person knock you off balance either because they might be, you know, there's also some, there may also very well be some financial issues over here. Okay, they want to be the fool. They want to take a leap of faith towards you. You know, bad vibe off of that devil. Yeah, of course. You got the nine of swords right here. So you may also be dealing with a, you could very well be dealing with an air sign. We also have Capricorn here, I'm seeing. Oh. oh, wow. 
Wow. Okay. So we got the Nine of Swords. We got the King of Swords. We got the Full. So this person definitely wants to come in. And then we have the Two of Pentacles here. Look at this. Okay. This person wants to come in. Let me show you these three cards, of course. Hopefully you can see them all. This person wants to come in. All right. They want to come in very fast. It looks like they want to rush in without thinking even. Um, they may be very, they could obviously just be an air sign, but they could also be very sharp with their words. I'm saying that because of this. It looks like they're going to come in. It may seem like they're kind of coming at you because they do want to come in very fast as the Nine of Swords does. Um, they're very head over heart though. So I wouldn't expect a great deal of emotion. It looks like you are definitely looking for that. Um, and maybe you've wanted that and wasn't really getting that. Maybe they were acting very head over the heart and, and you know, you were trying to get more out of the situation. But it looks to me like they are going to be coming in. This is certainly what their intention is right now, but they, they might be quite stoic. <laughs> you know this person and you know your situation. They might be quite stoic. They might almost seem cold, right? Like ice cold in a sense. Um, so just be... You know, I think you are. I can see this from your high priestess energy. And obviously, you also have the cat card up here. And also, you're protected. That's probably also why that card came out. You know, just make sure that you're standing in your power. Don't allow your emotions uh, to get the best of you. You know, because it, it looks to me like when they come in, you might feel like they're coming at you a little bit. The bottom card, though, tells me that this person is still juggling something. Okay, so if they had you in a third party, they may still have that. They may also be juggling you with other things that they're not expressing to you. Um, I just don't think this is coming from the best place necessarily. So let me do this. Let me, I want to look at these cards. I want to see, this looks to me like you may actually have some new options that are coming in for you, Gemini. So let me just see. Let me get a few messages from here. The Romance Angels. Yeah, this person definitely looks like to me they are they're certainly sitting in some toxic energy i don't mean they're drinking too much they could be um or drugs or anything like that but i do mean that they're not really thinking about they're thinking about how this is bugging them, them how this is bothering them how this is um you kind of doing your own thing is um, impacting them they're not really thinking about the situation they just want what they want according to these cars and that's not always the best thing I'm sorry Gemini you know I have to keep it a hundred percent real with you um, yeah so they might be a little abrasive it looks to me when they're coming in all right so we have oh look at this let your friends help ask for and support uh, Ask for and accept support from others. So this could be actual friends. Obviously, this could be calling upon the angels and your guides. Look at this. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. So you may be spending the holidays with someone. Um, you may be going on a holiday. You may be traveling very soon. You may meet someone while you're traveling as well. If this person can get it together, I mean, you could be going on a honeymoon, who knows? <laughs> it looks to me like you have some new suitors that are coming into view right now. Yes, passion. Allow your heart to sing, your heart and soul to sing with joy. And look at this. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. It absolutely does. And that is why you are pulling in. That's why you, you are standing right here in all your beauty, all your grace, right? Your abundance. And that's why you're also pulling in new love into your life as well. So, Gemini, it looks to me like you're going to have some choices to make. Uh, if you choose to, to continue down this path, it feels to me like you're getting some more emotions over here, some love. But obviously, it's always going to be your choice. Um, whatever you choose, I certainly wish you the best of luck. Uh, with all of that Gemini, and I look forward to talking to you next week. All right. Bye, Gemini.